Hey guys, thanks for tuning in tonight. I just wanted to do a quick review on this new custom-made Glock 17 holster that I just got in the mail. So let's go ahead and check this bad boy out. It's leather on the part that loops through your belt, and then we got Kydex for the actual barrel of the handgun is holding its retention in place. And as you can see, it's as smooth as butter, perfect amount of retention, and the perfect amount of release. So, let's go ahead and take a closer look at this thing. Alright guys, well, I just got my new Glock holster through this company, Craft Holsters, and I'm really excited to check it out. I got it custom made, and it's just, it's a work of art. The leather work in it, and the... Kydex, just, it's the ultimate package in my opinion, so enough of the talking, let's go ahead and check this thing out. So it came in this really nice box, first off, with a fragile handle with care, which you don't see that on a lot of packages nowadays, even if they're more fragile than leather and Kydex. <laughs> so let's go ahead and pop this thing open. Alright. So it says, welcome to the holster club. And by the way, this was custom made to the specs that I chose. And you can get any holster for any gun, basically, you can think of in any variation. You just go to craftholsters.com and customize your order. And they will send it out and get the holster of your dreams made for you. So... Put a lot of attention to detail and craftsmanship into their work. Really impressed with it. Okay, so here's the bag it came in. It came sealed, air sealed. And so, Craft Holsters put in the custom order and had this made from Falco Holsters. You can see they make leather gun holsters, Kydex, nylon, tactical equipment, and hunting equipment. So let's open this bad boy up. And there it is. So I wanted the Kydex part where the barrel slides into to get that locking retention that you get with a Kydex holster. But then I also wanted the comfort of leather. And the craftsmanship on this leather is just amazing. The stitchings are all done perfectly, everything is handcrafted, and they've just got great quality control because this thing is a piece of art in my opinion. And look, they even finished it off with a little packing hay or straw or whatever you call it. Okay, let's get this box out of the way and go over this thing. So you get the kydex, like I was saying, and you get the comfort of the leather belt part. So, one of the reasons I wanted this leather kydex combo was, like I said earlier, for the retention, you get a lot stronger retention rate with it than you would as opposed to just like your classic leather holster, like I got here for my 357 Magnum, my Ruger GP100, and... It's comfortable, but you don't get that great retention that you get due with Kydex. So, I figured, hey, maybe I can get the best of both worlds. Take this, and then take this, which is my Kydex concealed carry holster for my Glock 17 Gen 4. And you get the retention with the comfort. So, one added bonus was, I was told that the holster they made, it wouldn't fit with an optic like this. So, well first off, let's do a safety check. Chamber is clear, we are good to go. Okay, so that was told that an optic wouldn't fit in this holster, which, to my surprise, when I got it, it fits perfectly within like a quarter of an inch. So I was really 
impressed and surprised when I found that out. It was great. I was not expecting that. I was expecting to have to put my uh, factory plastic sight, rear sight back in. So now I can have the Kydex, the leather, and keep my optic on. And so this thing has more retention to it than this does, adjusted to the tightest setting. And another thing is, this holster will not work with the optic. As you can see, it's hitting the bottom of it right there. It's too tight. And when you go to push it back, it, the slide starts moving to the rear. So that won't work, but this absolutely does. Oh, look at that, I'm like a glove. So another thing I want to mention is I'm left-handed, so they custom made this for me, left-handed, Kydex on leather. It was, the order was sent out, it was made by hand in about two weeks tops and shipped out, and I got it within about, I'd say three weeks total following the order process. So it's a great turnaround for a very premium high quality holster and it was a very reasonable price for such a high quality holster it was in the I think 120 range $120 but yeah this thing is very high quality and I just wanted to show you guys and let you know about this Falco who made the holster and then Craft Holsters who puts out the order for you to get your custom made holster to the specs that you want. So I'll go ahead and loop this thing up on my belt and we'll take a look at it. Hey, so before we get started, I just wanted to thank you again for tuning into my channel and supporting me. So if you want to support my channel, you can send me donations through PayPal or through my Venmo link, which I'll provide those in the description. But the best way to support my channel is by subscribing, liking my videos, and sharing my videos. So go ahead and do that, and let's get into this holster review. Okay, so as you can see, this thing is very secure. The leather looping through the belt allows it to tightly press against your thigh, minimizing the movement if your belt is nice and tight. And the retention on this is perfect. It's not too tight when it's actually mounted on your belt. And it's not too loose either. It's the perfect in-between. Exactly what you would want from a Kydex holster. And on top of that, it's extremely comfortable. I honestly can't even feel it digging into my side at all. Even with me gaining a few extra pounds from the coronavirus, which I think we're all a little bit guilty of. But yeah, first impressions. I love this thing. And I will be taking it shooting this weekend. So I'll get some footage of that and put it in my next video on this optic, which I've been meaning to film for a while now. So first impressions, this thing is exactly what I was looking for. So, I've been so busy working, I didn't really get a good chance to look this holster over with a fine tooth comb before I started filming this video, and so I overlooked something. Obviously, since it's Kydex, you have an adjustment screw to tighten and loosen the retention. You need is a Phillips head, and you just give that a couple of turns. And I gave it a couple of turns before I started filming. And the retention is much stronger now. It even actually makes that clicking noise when it pops into place. That satisfying retention click. <laughs> and then another thing I overlooked was I didn't notice this in the bottom of the holster bag, but Falco holsters and craft holsters were kind enough to include a chamber flag for 9mm in the package, which is really cool. 
So if you ever go shooting at the range and they require you to put a chamber flag in, when ceasefire happens, you just slide that in like that, leave it up, and they know that you got a clear chamber. So I thought that was pretty cool. And another thing I wanted to add besides the retention in the chamber flag was another reason why I chose this leather section to be leather is because compare this to my Kydex 1911 holster. Now look at that. You're going to have that sharp plastic digging into your side while you're walking with this on your side holster and it's just not comfortable. Now compare that to this nice soft leather and then it even has this flap that goes up to give you more protection so it doesn't dig in from that way going up or down. So I just wanted to show you another reason why I think leather is a more suitable material for an OWB holster even if the this section, the barrel section, is made out of Kydex. I would still go with leather every time, especially this nice of leather that was handcrafted. Well, that's about it. I will provide a link to craft holsters as well as Falco holsters in the description, and you can go and check them out and check out all the different guns and all the different customizations you can make to the holster to get exactly what you're looking for so go ahead and check that out well thanks again for watching everybody stay safe out there and i'll see you on the next one have a good weekend tomorrow's friday everybody relax and have some fun